Quest come in asking how exactly does the Chrome logo mockup graphics collection work from Pixel Buddha, which is provided as a Photoshop file and with smart objects. And you can simply put your logo, change the text to get this sort of effect uh, applied to your text or logo. So I'm gonna show you right now how this uh, works and it's fairly easy. So you just open up the file in Photoshop. Again, you will need Photoshop for this to work. Um, it will be provided with this layer here, edit content. You just wanna double click on that. They have this uh, testing uh, design in here. We can turn that off. We're just gonna make a new layer. Let's put in our own design layer with a different font. Design. I'm gonna use uh, our font Morchin, which is good for headlines like this. Pull this up really big. I'm just gonna save it again right in the same area. And then uh, that was Command S just to save this layer that I'm editing. And then I turn this off. And now you can see it has been applied to this font. Now again, just to show you, I can apply it to, a, apply it to another font. Let's say I don't like that. I can change this font. Let's say I wanna apply it to our matter font. So I'm gonna put select matter here. It's too big, so let's bring that back down. Let's go out right here. Put it again here in the center. I'm just gonna save again, Command S, and then I can close that. And you see again, it applies it to this font. Now you might be wondering how do you apply it to say a logo that you have or anything like that. I can go over to Illustrator. I'm gonna take the You Work For Them logo, copy that here in Illustrator, Command C. Go over to Photoshop. I'm gonna edit this again, turn this off, make a new layer. And I'm just gonna paste this as a smart object for right now for the easiest way. That comes in like that. Let's take it down just a little bit in size, right here in the middle. Save again, Command S. And you can see it's applied my effect here as well. Now you can turn off a few things in here or you can adjust it. Um, I would always recommend with any of these files from uh, any of the designers on our site that provide Photoshop effects and text effects, just sort of play around with the effects and the layers in there. You'll get a lot of different uh, sort of outcomes that uh, results that will be sort of customized to how you want it. So first I can turn off that texture, which gets rid of a bit of the grain on here. Um, but as well, you can sort of mess around with some of these other things here and you'll get sort of uh, different results. And now uh, if I turn these off, you can see it starts to go more black and white and go even more weird like that. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can adjust on this as far as how the sort of embossing and the glowing has worked. Uh, but that's pretty much it. It's fairly simple. Uh, again, almost all of the Pixel Buddha products are provided like this. Uh, very easy to edit the content on these and you just simply uh, put in your font, your message, your type or anything. And when you're done, if you're wanting to sort of put this into another design, all you have to do is just you could easily just select these layers and then just sort of drag it over into, say, another Photoshop file you have. That's it.